This is How To Play Shallow by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. This is a very doable song with just two main sections to it really. This intro which goes through all, throughout all the verses and also this chorus section which is even simpler. I'm teaching this as authentic as I can to the original recording but that is mainly on guitar. I have a t guitar tutorial for that on my Andy Guitar YouTube channel but please subscribe to this Andy Piano YouTube channel. We'll have new song uploads and free courses and new uploads at least every Thursday from now until the foreseeable future. This first chord is an E minor 7 played in this fashion. So uh, the right hand, we're playing two notes out of a standard kind of G major triad here. So thumb on the G, little finger on the D and then the uh, left hand is playing an E note and then another E note, so an octave apart with the little finger and the thumb. And the pattern would be little finger, thumb, little finger, thumb. Little finger, thumb, little finger, thumb. Left hand first, then right hand. If you can't do this octave stretch in the left hand, you can just play the lower note, and I would recommend going for the lower note of every one of these notes that we do. And this octave stretch doesn't happen all the time anyway, but it's a really nice thing. You can also just kind of jump, and by using that sustained pedal, everything will ring out. You don't have to do a stretch, you can move a little bit. The second chord is a D major chord, but with an F sharp in the left hand. And this is the way we have the thumb on the left, um, on the F sharp, sorry. Those are the three notes that make up this D major chord in the right hand. F sharp in the bass, probably played by the middle finger, see as it's sticking out a little bit more. Then moving on to a G major chord, standard G major chord, and uh, just the G in the bass. So chord number one, oh hang on, chord number one. Let me get that right. Chord number two. Chord number three. Played in the fashion of little finger, thumb, little finger, thumb, left hand, right hand, together. That's the pattern. If you can do that, we're halfway through this verse, which goes through half of the songs, so kind of a quarter of the way through the whole thing, just by going little finger, thumb, Little finger, thumb, left hand, right hand, together. I'll be holding the sustain pedal down the whole time until we hit that left hand on the F sharp and then you don't need to hit it again. The next chord is a C to C sus2, octave in the bass again if we can, so C to C, little finger thumb, and then uh, G and the C together, so this is our C chord, probably play it with the uh, middle finger actually, and then the third, uh, third finger going to the D note, just on its own. C to C sus2 and those chords just again just the chords themselves C to C sus2 little finger higher to C sus2 then back to the G and finishing on a D that second part one more time C and then in the right hand D E D chord all together, a G to D, and that is the entire verse, they're all the chords in this. So if you found that a lot to process so far, don't worry, This is that's already the majority of the song. So if you can just work through this section, you've got it, you're all good. Recap from the start, just as a demo so you can see.
Okay, that'll get us to the end of the verse. Just focusing a little bit more on the pattern because the devil is in the detail with this kind of stuff. On the first chord, E minor seven, little finger, thumb, little finger, thumb, left, right, together. Little finger, thumb, again on the second part, together, Great if you keep the sustain pedal down as well. We'll More lessons on how to use the sustain pedal in the future. Left, right, and then together on the D. So that was left, right on the G. And then everything together, preferably with an octave in the left hand, but you don't have to do these octaves. If you just did it with just the left hand on the lower notes, So it's, it's actually pretty doable and if we were taking all that away just stripping it right back to its basics if that's been a struggle for you the very basic way to do it would be just hitting each chord at once E minor 7 uh, D over F sharp to G C G and then D Tell me something are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Ain't it hard keeping it so hardcore? Often the the um, rhythm of the, the hands and the left to right is, is actually in sync with the vocals. So hardcore, I'm falling in all the good times I find myself longing. Okay, we've got a lot of that working. Let's just, um, let's do another play along together, I think. The um, chorus section, I'm in the deep end, all that bit's really, really simple. So let's, let's go from the start of the verse all the way through to, um, to that section. Okay, so let's get through all the verse sections, which is the first minute to a minute and a half of the song. So we want this pattern first. Together, two, three, four. Okay, and for the longer version, we'd go into the rest of it, but let's just go straight into the vocal now from that first part of the song. Three, four. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Why do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for? I'm falling In all the good times I find myself longing For change And in the bad times I fear myself And then that little pattern a couple more times and it would all happen again. That is all the verses and all the riff sections. Into the chorus now, uh, much easier, and we'll just cover all the basic chords first of all. A minor, again, optional, uh, octaves in the bass. I'm gonna be doing it for everyone. For this section though, let's stick around here and if you were unsure or you can't do this octave grip, just do single notes with that left hand totally fine but to give it a bit of drama a minor played in the standard fashion of the triad in the right hand and this time we're going for an octave in the bass but that is an optional octave you could just stay to the higher notes in the left hand for every one of these and that would be what i'd recommend that will sound better but the full way i would encourage a minor D chord, same as we've played it before in the right hand, octave in the bass. For the drama, listen to that, yes. Then, standard G major chord, octave in the bass. More standard D major chord with a D in the bass, or a D in the left hand, to E minor. That is the entire chorus, just keep repeating that. Uh, easier way without the octaves, A minor, 
D slash F sharp, which just means D in the right hand, F sharp in the left hand. G, D, E minor, with the octaves. I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. Crash through the surface where they can't hurt us. We're far from the shallow now. Exactly the same for sha la 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 la. Play along with me just one, you know, just hit each of the keys once per chord. We'll cover a little rhythm in a second. But together, two, three, four. In the shallow, in the shallow, in the shallow, we're far from the shallow now. And for a rhythm, just hit each chord just four times. Ooh, apart from um, the G to D. That would be just twice, wouldn't it? But we're just going to just go on the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Which sounds really great, even if you just have the left hand once and we just hit the right hand. You don't have to hit everything kind of all the time. Give that left hand a bit of a rest. Three, four. Watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. That works really well using that sustain pedal, which I've got a really in-depth kind of tutorial on that sustain pedal. Um, really makes it kind of come, come to life so that we can relax our hands a little more and still get that lovely sound. That is how to play the chorus. Just one more section now, this kind of bridge section, the whoa ohs bit. We have this um, B minor. Yeah, probably here. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. And then we're back to I'm off the deep end. It's the same, okay. So we have this second chord sequence, which is something new, but we'll keep the positions as similar as possible. B minor chord lower inversion of it there would be our normal B minor. Let's just go for single notes in the left hand. Uh, next one's a D, so we're here. A major, E minor, B minor, just two more chords, just the D and the A. So we had B minor, D, A, and then B minor, D, A again. B minor, D, A, we have that twice, but in the middle of it, there's an E minor. What could be simpler? <laughs> One time through that. Okay, so uh, to get the rhythm, what's best to do is just hit this right hand four times per chord. Hello. One. that going? Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A. And then we're back into that normal chorus. And let's go from there. I think that section will be okay for you guys. Let's go from that last chorus all the way to the end of the song, just following A minor, uh, D slash F sharp, G, D, E minor. And if you can't do the octave thing in the left hand, just hit the single notes that were all around this section. A minor, D slash F sharp, G, D, E minor. That's where we go. Let's try and play that together in real time. Play along with me from the A minor in two, three, four. I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. Keep it going, same thing again. Surface where they can't hurt us. We're far 
from the shallow now. Same thing, I'm just going to demo it with the octaves. Three, four. In the shallow. In the shallow. Sha -la 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 In the shallow. We're far from the shallow now. And one more just to finish and that is the end of this song thank you so much if you got to the end of this tutorial I really appreciate it frankly I've been dogged with a few technical issues especially with the little graphics on the screen and stuff while filming this one so I hope you could follow it okay let me know your song requests tutorial requests lesson requests anything you want to know about piano or keyboards let me know in the comments below and I'm really looking forward to getting loads of new content on this pian Andy Piano YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you later. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.